Hey guys, it's Roxy here. I thought I would jump back um, online. We have been offline on the YouTube channel for some time. We've been in transition from an old property to a brand new property and um, we're just settling in. So still figuring everything out from everything from power to Wi-Fi and setting up obviously the kids' rooms and um, all the little bits and pieces. So we are finally getting more and more settled. So I thought I would jump on here and check in with you all. We have have been riding the emotional waves, the emotional roller coasters, um, as you probably are all as well. December is such a powerful time to uh, work through your emotions, to clear negative energy patterns, false beliefs that do not serve you, and really start to elevate and see behind the veil. And these galactic energies coming into the uh, planet, to the solar system at this time, is just getting faster and more powerful. So this week, the solstice is on and depending on where you are around the globe um, the earth axis is uh, tilt so it's when it tilts the shortest day of the year happens and the longest day so for down here in australia we're in summer at the moment so it's one of the longest days it also is a time a powerful time where galactic energies do come in and um, i've definitely been feeling this um, over the last couple of weeks while we've been moving and in this transition we've also been um overcoming to overcoming some emotions as well so for me i started to get some anxiety attacks which was very interesting because obviously our foundations were shifting um, through this time and you know things were a little bit difficult so we're getting um, you know little lessons and blessings to see how we would respond or react and of course you know everything is a message from the universe everything is a conscious lesson for us to help uh, us elevate and it's magic so when we look at certain things that weren't in flow it was like okay this is making me look at this and for me it was anxiety so I started getting um, like anxiety panic attacks actually and I thought it was really strange because I haven't had them since I was probably you know early 20s so a very long time ago but what I realized was that it was resurfacing to to help me move through it for me to clear that emotion and it was quite an intense one it was in my early 20s where um we would have big big nights partying and you know going out all night and then doing it again the next night the next night and just continuously depleting our energies and we didn't we weren't awake then you know we're young fun have just free um, and um, having the best time of our life and you know obviously didn't realize how depleting um, you know that over and over and over was so there was a point um, when I was having this anxiety attack that I remember where I was out in a pub and um, yeah just wigged out basically and had this full-on panic attack anxiety and from that point on I had this anxiety so anytime I'd come into a confined space or, you know, if I had to catch a plane, it would always come and, you know, haunt me. I'd go to the toilet over and over and over, like nervous weeing and all of this. And, you know, it was really difficult to understand it. But as we had our awakening over the last couple of years and coming to realise that it's just suppressed emotion that we have to work through. And obviously, we're, we're, Pete and I are working on our heart portals and our root chakra um, at this present time um, in this um, beautiful energy that's helping us ascend. But it's anxiety suppressed in there for me so it happened when we moved here I went down the local shop new set of shops and I just felt this energy coming in and it was just coming through my being and I was like whoa what's this so I wasn't quite sure if it was an energetic attack or not and I've heard um a friend Caroline Zaza you might know her she's done a recent video on this anxiety and on attacks and um, attachments and obviously there is um, dark and uh, light there's low frequency energies looking for high frequency beings and come and um, have a little staycation for a while so being aware of that but also your emotions when you're processing it it just I, I was listening to her um story last night and I thought it's so important to share this because a lot of us are going through similar things and when she said it I was like oh my god this is happening to me too so it happened at the local shop when I was picking up some pies for the boys here doing the work at the new house and then I got home and I just couldn't wait to get home because I was just you know in this in this phase it's like what the heck was that and then it happened Monday last week I was at home with the kids by myself and this all of this anxiety came through and I jarred up and I had to go lay down and just breathe breathe and breathe through it and it was I was just calling upon my galactic team to help me work through it I had no knowing of what it was at that point but I rang Pete and I said oh my god I'm having these 
um, anxiety attacks and I don't know how to like what it is, what it's getting, what trigger is triggering it. So once again, back at my 20s, I was depleted in energy. And recently we've been very stressed moving, you know, wrapping up the end of the year, trying to sort out the other house and all the things. So my energy levels have been depleted. And so I think it like edges its way in when we are not at key performance. So I'm working on raising my vibration at the moment, doing lots of exercise, drinking lots of water, you know, filling my mind with the clean, the positive, the fun, and trying to attune myself to that high frequency. It happens happened on Monday last week and then it happened on Thursday so my car unfortunately Pete ran over a stick broke the under under hood something and I had to get I have no car so I had to catch public transport to the plaza to do some Christmas shopping I had the boys and then I had another anxiety attack there and I couldn't help to think if it was just like me being taught how to learn to just go with the flow and breathe through over and in, um, intense situations like that. Because that obviously at the shopping mall, the plaza we call it here, there's lots of different beings and being at Christmas time, there's lots of different energies swirling around. Lots of people are dealing with their families and all of these, you know, uh, restrictions and you know new, all these new mandates and different things like that and and that is very stressful plus on top of that we're having an awakening globally so all of these people are starting to see behind the veil and getting triggered not sure how to deal with their emotions so basically I was getting triggered at the shopping center and yeah I just couldn't wait to get out of there it was really interesting there was no reason for me to get triggered no one I had no inception with people but last night I realized I had another mild one so every time it was a big one at the beginning and then it got milder and milder and milder as I learned to lean into it and surrender into it and realize it's just an emotion trying to pass through me and release and just allow it so watch it acknowledge it say hi anxiety hello anxiety you scare me but I know what you are because we're awakening we're having an ascension this is how we purge through the density this is how we get our beautiful vessel from this dirty vase of water to a clean vase crystalline vase of water 5d consciousness so when we're dealing with fear anxiety depression worry um, control manipulation that's all 3d consciousness so we're trying to clean out our vessel if you can imagine the bars of water being your suppressed emotions it's dirty and gunky and yucky you know we're trying to clean it all out to get to the 5d crystalline bars of water so just have a think about okay we're trying to clean the water we're trying to clean our vessel from the heavy metals from the world manufactured foods and drinks and food um, and also emotions, suppressed emotions, layers upon layers upon layers from this lifetime and then also past lifetimes. And you've had a few of those if you're listening to this. You're an old wise soul, I'm sure. And then our intergalactic lifetime. So the most significant ones we have to integrate in preparation for the ascension. Okay, so whether or not it be a Lyran war or an Orion war, or maybe you had some time on the Pallades where, you know, you had these emotional traumas as well that you, you went off and had a, a UFO crash while you being of service or, you know, there's all different things that we have to integrate into our field in this lifetime in preparation for the ascension. And there's a few clients of mine that are already working with that type of level of clearing. And we're all different. You know, sometimes we might have more of this lifetime to work through than say somebody else or someone else might have more intergalactic lifetimes to work through and integrate in for this uh, ascension in this lifetime and not this human uh, life so we all have different stories and we can't compare we just need to have a knowing about it because if we have a knowing we understand okay I'm not going crazy number one because normally we think from our head number two oh that's right Pete and Roxy said, that's right, we have to integrate our intergalactic lifetimes as well. That's why I keep getting visions of a Palladian in a ship and having a crash, for example. So there's all things that's going on behind the veil that we have no idea about. And so the more information I can bring through and the experiences that I can bring through and share here so you don't feel so alone in it makes us feel more confident and when we have confidence we are in a higher frequency it's what we don't know that scares us that makes us feel unsafe so when we have knowing it's like safe we're safeguarded by the knowing being okay so we're connecting into the high realms the knowing being and we and we help people 
understand what that means and we connect in and so that way we feel safe so it's all this education when we have an education we feel like okay yep got this now we can move on it's when we don't know and have no knowing it's like when we're sinking in the 3d and we can't figure out what the heck's going on you're not tapping into 5d consciousness at that level when we're tapping into 5d consciousness it's like everything's in flow we're on the wi-fi uh, galactic Wi-Fi system. You know, I'll be thinking something, Pete will say it, or I'll be thinking, oh God, it would be great to have this. And the next minute that thing will roll in from someone random. So it's like, we're all starting to become 5D consciousness beings, but we have to elevate and clear the density. So last night I had the anxiety attack. It was much milder. Then I realized, okay, it's getting less. And I pinned it back to my 19 year old self um, when I was overwhelmed, stressed, vulnerable you know low low frequency taking lots of alcohol and you know partying and all of that type of stuff and and I was very depleted and I was a lost little girl back then too and um that's okay because you know you can't grow unless you've had those dark times you know that's how we appreciate the love the bliss the goodness so if we don't have the duality of the darkness we can't really fight for the light so I hope that um finds you well um, when we're drinking over Christmas, be mindful of your vibration and how much you're having, because that's when a lot of other entities and attachments can come in and um, have a staycation with you. So just be mindful of, um, of obviously protecting your field. And um, this is something that I do to protect our field. I wake up every morning and I blast a light from my solar plexus and I imagine this light blasting out into my hologram my auric field and it clears all of the dark density or any any negative energy flows that have come in so I do that of a um, morning every morning I blast it from my solar plexus so you can imagine that and then set the intention to connect to source to fill up your solar plexus to blast white light out from your being, so from inside out. I also then do a, a gold bubble of light around my field and I tie a little bow on top because the more detail and intention that you can bring to this type of thing, the more powerful it is. And then also I bubble up our cars and I bubble up our house and I bubble up my little babies and Pete and just um, ask for safety and protection guidance throughout the day and the weeks. So if you feel called to start protecting yourself because you feel like the energies are starting to come in because we're all elevating, we're very powerful beings, they scan for the light um, and it is a thing, unfortunately. It's a thing and we um, have to talk about it. It's important to know about it, but it's important to shield yourself as well. So offering that to you to take away, of course, wash it through your own heart compass. Um, all of this information, you have to find your own truths um, and we're here to guide you. So I hope you are all having a beautiful um, last couple of weeks of this year. Next year is going to be amazing and I can't wait to connect with you all. Pete and I will be jumping on for one last um, channel for the rest of the year, but um, just before Christmas, we'll I wish you all Merry Christmas and um, check in to see how you're going and what we can uh, find is important to help you before the Christmas time. And um, yeah, just sending big love. I know it's hard. The solstice is really powerful. Last year I had three um, woke up on the day of the solstice, the 21st, with three or uh, four imprints on my hand from uh, the ETs. That was um, something that I asked for. I asked for a profound um, something to show me that I was on track and that they were there with me. And we were camping down at Stradbroke Island. It's a very sacred land down there. And I was connecting with the stars, the Orion's belt, or some people call it the sourceman. And I was, you know, setting intention, show me that you're real, show me that you're here with me. I really want a connection, I want a profound situation, uh, a sign, a profound sign. So I set that intention, woke up in the morning with these dots, these burns on my on my hand. Now they weren't painful or anything and we sh I showed the other people. I had no idea until mid morning that they were there because I didn't even know, but I was trying to figure out, did I pick up something that imprinted it. I was trying to like cross solve it to think, God, this is this really a sign and to, to um, cross out anything that it could have been. And um, 
long story short, I meditated later and they're like, yep, we did that. We connected with you last night. You asked for a profound situation. We were here. We're here with you. It's a really powerful time. The energy, the portals that are opening. So I encourage you all to ask for a profound sign. Ask your galactic team or your archangels or the divine for something profound to happen. And so you can just cannot miss it. Ask for that and you shall receive. <laughs> so I can't wait to give you an update next week um, with if anything happened on the solstice, but always setting intention, set, write down a list of all the things that you'd like to achieve in 2022, all the things, uh, the feelings that you'd like to feel in 2022. Often we don't sense that feeling and connect with our heart portal. We just kind of thinking how to manifest. So feelings, how do I want to feel? Well, I want to feel like I've got lots of vitality and energy and I want to feel happy and excited all the time like connect with the feelings because that's the real you all right guys I love you so much have a beautiful couple of days and a beautiful solstice and we'll talk again soon bye